Do you want to create and run amazing AI agents without writing any code? Do you want to learn how to use skills and multi-agent teams to solve real-world problems? If yes, then this tutorial is for you. Welcome to Autogen Studio 2.0 tutorial, Skill and Practical Use Cases, No Code. Autogen Studio 2.0 is a software tool that lets you create and run artificial intelligence AI agents without writing any code. AI agents are programs that can perform tasks, communicate, and learn from data. Autogen Studio 2.0 allows you to build AI agents using a graphical interface where you can drag and drop different components and connect them with wires. You can also test and debug your agents in a simulator and deploy them to various platforms. One of the main features of Autogen Studio 2.0 is the ability to use skills. Skills are predefined functions that can be added to your agents to give them specific capabilities. For example, you can use a skill to make your agent speak, listen, translate, summarize, generate text, analyze sentiment, and more. Skills are powered by state-of-the-art AI models such as GPT-4 and Light LLM that are trained on large amounts of data. You can also create your custom skills by providing examples or writing code. So, to use Autogen Studio 2.0 to create and run amazing AI agents, you need to install Autogen Studio 2.0 on your computer by following the instructions. Launch Autogen Studio 2.0 and sign in with your API key. You will see the main interface with four tabs, Playground, Gallery, Simulator, and Settings. Go to the Playground tab where you can create and edit your AI agents. You'll see a black canvas with a toolbar on the left and a panel on the right. To create an AI agent, you need to add and connect different components on the canvas. Components are the building blocks of your agent, such as inputs, outputs, skills, and logic. You can drag and drop components of the toolbar or the panel to the canvas and connect them with wires by clicking and dragging. To add a skill to your agent, you can choose from a list of predefined skills on the panel, such as text generation, summarization, translation, sentiment analysis, and more. You can also create your custom skill by providing examples or writing code. Skills are powered by state-of-the-art AI models such as GPT-4 and Lite LLM that are trained on large amounts of data. To create multi-agent team, you can add and connect multiple agents on the canvas. You can also design the workflow and the communication between the agents. A multi-agent team can work together to achieve a common goal such as handling customer service, creating content, or analyzing data. To test and debug your agent or team, you can go to the Simulator tab, where you can interact with your agent or team in a simulated environment. You can also view the logs, metrics, and outputs of your agent or team on the panel. To share your agent or team, you can go to the Gallery tab, where you can upload your agent or team to the public gallery or download it to your local machine. You can also browse and download other agents or teams from the public gallery. Another feature of Autogen Studio 2.0 is the ability to create multi-agent teams. Multi-agent teams are groups of agents that can work together to achieve a common goal. For example, you can create a team of agents to handle customer service where one agent can answer questions, another agent can book appointments, and another agent can send feedback. You can also create a team of agents to perform complex tasks such as creating a blog post and a tweet thread from a YouTube video. You can design the workflow and the communication between the agents using the graphical interface. Autogen Studio 2.0 has many real-world use cases, such as content creation. You can use Autogen Studio 2.0 to create high-quality content for various purposes, such as blogs, social media, newsletters, podcasts, and more. You can use skills to generate text, images, audio, and video, and to edit and format them. You can also use multi-agent teams to create content from different sources, data analysis. You can use Autogen Studio 2.0 to analyze and visualize data from various domains, such as business, finance, health, education, and more. You can use skills to extract, transform, and load data, and to perform statistical and machine learning operations. You can also use multi-agent teams to generate insights, reports, and recommendations from data. Education. You can use Audiogen Studio 2.0 to create and deliver educational content and experiences such as courses, quizzes, games, and more. 
You can use skills to create interactive and adaptive content and to assess and provide feedback to learners. You can also use multi-agent teams to create personalized and collaborative learning environments where learners can interact with tutors, peers, and mentors. Entertainment. You can use AutoGen Studio 2.0 to create and enjoy entertainment content and experiences such as games, stories, music, and more. You can use skills to generate and control characters, scenes, dialogues, sounds, and effects. You can also use multi-agent teams to create immersive and dynamic experiences where you can interact with other players and the environment. You can use skills to give your agents specific capabilities and use multi-agent teams to make them work together. You can also use AutoGen Studio 2.0 for various real-world use cases, such as content creation, data analysis, education, and entertainment. AutoGen Studio 2.0 is a great way to learn and explore the possibilities of AI. AutoGen Studio 2.0 does not support all types of skills and data sources. For example, you cannot use skills that involve vision, speech, or audio processing or data sources that are not in text, image, or video format. You also cannot use skills that require specialized hardware or software, such as robotics, VR, or AR. AutoGen Studio 2.0 does not guarantee the quality or accuracy of the output generated by the skills or the agents. The output may depend on the quality and quantity of the data, the parameters and settings of the skills, and the complexity and logic of the workflows. You may need to manually check and edit the output before using it for your purposes. AutoGen Studio 2.0 does not provide explicit options for delegating tasks to specific agents within a multi-agent team. This may make it difficult to assign roles and responsibilities to the agents and to coordinate and monitor their actions. You may need to design the workflows carefully and use communication skills to ensure the smooth functioning of the team. AutoGen Studio 2.0 does not offer advanced features for debugging, testing, and optimizing the agents and the workflows. You may encounter errors, bugs, or performance issues while using the tool and you may not have enough tools or information to fix them. You may need to rely on external tools or resources to troubleshoot and improve your agents and workflows. These are some of the limitations of AutoGen Studio 2.0 that you should keep in mind while using the tool. However, these limitations do not diminish the value and potential of the tool as it still offers a lot of benefits and possibilities for AI development. You can use the tool to learn and explore the basics of AI and to create and run simple and useful AI agents for various use cases. You can also use the tool as a starting point for more advanced and complex AI projects by using the API or integrating it with other tools and platforms. AutoGen Studio 2.0 is a powerful and easy to use tool that can help you create and run AI agents without writing any code. One of the popular alternatives to AutoGen Studio 2.0 is GenWorlds. GenWorlds is an open source framework for creating and coordinating AI agents in multi-agent systems. GenWorlds uses a WebSocket-based event system which makes it easy to integrate with different technologies and user interfaces. GenWorlds also supports diverse interaction modalities such as objects, events, and dialogue. You have learned how to use AutoGen Studio 2.0 to create and run amazing AI agents without coding. You have used skills and multi-agent teams to solve real-world problems. But what if you want to do more? Comment your thoughts on this and don't forget to like, share, and subscribe.